So we're here at the Arm TechCon, and uh, who are you? I'm Danny Kay from 20th Century Fox, Fox Innovation Labs. And so Arm is doing these, uh, I mean, all these people are making chips right here. Yes. And uh, there's Trust Zone. And so are you going, coming with a solution for 4K content? Is this what you're talking about? Yes. Um, we, we have a system called Vidity. Uh, which is a, a digital ecosystem where we would deliver very high quality content, ultra high def 4K with high dynamic range and wide color gamut. And the file sizes can be rather large because of the quality. So what we need is we need to deliver it to devices that have local storage uh, so that uh, you can get on-demand playback of high quality content. But what's really what's critical to the, the success of this is to be able to protect that content. Um, piracy is a big issue in our industry, and we want to we want to give consumers the best possible experience, which means quality and convenience. And we have to protect our, our content by doing that. So uh, things like Trust Zone, and particularly Trust Zone, are really essential to any any kind of technological solution for delivering content. And so it goes through the trust zone, it goes to HDCP, and everything is 100% impossible to copy, right? Uh, as close as possible. As close as possible. And, uh, and a trust zone is already in many SOCs. And so now you, are, you want them to actually get it to the next level and make it really happen? Or is it, is it happening? It's happening. Um, they work with a lot of uh, device manufacturers. Um, but as, uh, as I've learned a little bit from this show, you know, Trust Zone uh, continues to have additional features attached to it, which gives even wider coverage of devices and wider coverage of security implementation. So it can always get better, and that's what ARM is working to accomplish. The, the, actually, now, if people buy a 4K TV, it's basically what they would buy. I mean, the 1080p is not much cheaper, so everybody's buying 4K now. Yeah. So it's a big deal to get the, the content. Yeah, and basically the replacement cycle for HD TVs is why it's going to be quick, and that's why the, our forecasts for 4K TVs are, are so aggressive. But, you know, the early 4K TVs don't have high dynamic range, which, as I think I said before, is really uh, the special sauce that we think will make a difference and show off our content. So those have begun to hit the market in 2015, and the, uh, uh, the percentage of 4K TVs that'll have high dynamic range will only increase over the next couple of years, and that's why we're producing all of our content in high dynamic range. And so uh, with Western Digital and SanDisk, uh, they are very interested to be part of this new VVD where, where basically you can get two terabyte, four terabyte, you can get lots of terabytes of 4K content. Yeah. Maybe at the store, maybe shipping, like uh, yeah. any, UPS, any, yeah, DHL, any, any whatever. Business model. I, I now that's how I watch my movies. Now I have a Western Digital drive. I take it home. I plug it into the USB port of my Samsung TV, and I watch my uh, movies. And every three or four months, you might get a new one, or you might connect the yeah, notes, might swap, swap them over. That. That's right. And I can always, if if there's a film I want to remove from the hard drive, I can, especially if I have it stored somewhere else. I don't lose. I own the movie. Um, so I can optimize the space on my hard drive with the content I want to watch, and I can copy it off the drive, put it on another device. Because a 4K movie, uh, how, how small can it be? Or well, how big does it have it, to be it, with it, HDR and everything? Currently, we're doing movies at about 40 to 60 gigabytes for the ultra high def. Uh, you can compress it further, but we want the best possible quality. So it's a high enough bitrate for everything to look awesome, and HDR information, everything is in there? Everything's in there. All right, so uh, hopefully they'll, every new movie will be like this. And how about all the back catalog? Everything in 35 millimeter can be digitized in 4K, right? Um, yeah, you know, it's, not, it's yeah. not all the same. We're going back and we're analyzing all the old masters and making sure that um, we can make them in high quality. But I would imagine, I don't know if it's a secret, but don't, aren't you already digitizing all the back catalog to 4K, or is it impossible? Uh, it's not all the, it's not just in digitization, so uh, we, we have to see whether we have enough bits to do the high quality resolution as well as the HDR. And you are the leader in, among all the, the different studios and in getting into this kind of stuff? Well, what are the other people doing? Uh, there are a couple other studios working on uh, things like HDR as well. All right, so looking forward to it.